Okay, everyone. Hi, hi. What's up? I'm Holly Robinson P, and I'm joined by my wonderful co star who I haven't seen and I've totally missed her, Kaylee Bryant. Hi, Kaylee. Hi. We are all so excited for all of you guys to see our new movie, The Journey Ahead. Yeah. And we have a couple of questions that Hallmark Movies and Mysteries sent our way that we will be answering. So let's get started. So here we go. The first question is In The Journey Ahead, Hollywood actress Madeline hires her assistant's best friend, Sarah, to drive her from Los Angeles to New York. Without giving too much away, can we share how the road trip gives them a different perspective about life? I mean, I think this is pretty straightforward in the sense that you put two unlikely characters and they really are big personalities and you put them in the car together with nothing but each other to spend time with, very little air conditioning, um, and things are going to come out. I think that it's it's a really fun story to tell in the way that there's no escaping one another. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the real estate in that car was very um, tight. And there were scenes when I had to jump in the back of the car, which was sounds really crazy. Why didn't I just open the door and go around? But that wasn't really something that we could do. The door, this this car was real. I mean, it was from back in the day. It, it had was, some smells going on in it. If that interior could talk, the story <laughs> it would tell. <laughs> it had some smells. It had some energy. It smelled like broken dreams in there. <laughs> But it was, but that's what I loved about it because it was a real car. It oh, wasn't yeah. it wasn't the car that they tried to make old. It was the real deal. Um, and so yeah, perspective. We got a lot of different perspective. Being in that car together, being of different generations, uh, from different backgrounds, our characters uh, really had a lot to learn from each other for sure. Definitely. So Madeline and Sarah's opposite personalities clash when they encounter a few rocky turns during their road trip. Are there any important lessons our characters teach each other as they grow closer? Well, listen, for sure, Sarah taught Madeline how to not take life so daggone seriously and to just breathe, to look around her. This was an opportunity for Madeline to slow down, see the country, see parts of the country she's never seen before, and really take inventory on her life um, without moving from movie to movie and from house to house. Uh, so this was an opportunity, I'd say, for Sarah to teach Madeline to just slow down. And it's interesting because I feel like Madeline teaches Sarah how to stop using slowing down as escapism from her own issues and actually having to really face the relationships that she's walked away from and really kind of face the love that she's kind of turned away from and accepting it within her family, within her life. See why I loved working with her? I mean, <laughs> this girl right here. Okay, here's question number three. Sarah and Madeline are at different stages in life, but they realize their own experiences can help support each other. Why do you think viewers will connect with this storyline, Kaylee? Oh, man. I mean, I think it's a really universal story in the way that we all have felt a connection between generations, whether it be within our family, our friendships. Madeline and Sarah really do connect on a really beautiful scale that doesn't have to do with our generation at all. It's just like, this is how we see life and this is how we can affect each other by having a different viewpoint. Yeah, sometimes I think people are so dismissive of people that are older or younger than them. They just don't feel like they got it. But honey, you got there some way, right? So you learn things along the way. And what I loved about personally about working with Kaylee is I have a daughter Kaylee's age and I always feel like she's speaking a different language. But when I, after working with Kaylee, you don't even really know this Kaylee, but you really helped me just really look at my own situation with my daughter and just listen to her and not be ready to dismiss what she says as soon as she starts opening her mouth. And that was so helpful for me in ways that you just don't realize. But I think in just general, different, um, de generations need to be more patient with each other and honor each person's experience and journey. See how I worked the title? Uh, yeah. In it's so interesting. I feel the exact same way. I really did walk away from filming with so much more perspective just from taking in how you handle yourself on set was so 
so important to me as a person to be able to say like, okay, so if I were to deal with this circumstance, how would I handle it? And after watching you handle so many different circumstances so beautifully because of your life experience, it was a huge lesson to me as well. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> you were, you were also a good diffuser. You also were, yes. Anyway, continue. <laughs> Cracking jokes. So, yeah. okay, next question. During the road trip, our characters visit a small town and Madeline meets one of the residents, Carl. Holly, how does their encounter make your character realize that simplifying her life can make her rediscover her passion? Well, first of all, I think what is I'm really suppressing right now are all the 9,000 um, theme song songs that we came up with. <laughs> Mountain <laughs> Man. Mountain Man. We had all kind of uh, theme songs and 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 uh, inside jokes. It's pretty amazing how many we had in such a short period of time. But I think um, the encounter, um, this is a woman who's very uptight, right? Madeline is very uptight and everything is calculated and strategized. And and I think the encounter and Sarah's uh, encouragement for Madeline to just open herself up is was extremely helpful to Madeline. Just simplify, just, you know, keep it simple. You know, so what? You, you met a new guy along the way. Well, you immediately are just going to, shut him out because you got all this other stuff going. So I think the simplification of life and also um, the fluidity of life was something that Madeline uh, realized that she could rediscover her passion by not always dealing with it in the scope of other things going on with her life. Maybe this was meant to happen. This trip wasn't even supposed to happen because Madeline was already supposed to be in her sprinter or whatever or you know with her guy but the problem is that the sprinter guy it was he couldn't do it and so sarah came along and helped her but madeline looked at it as an inconvenience the whole time until she realized these little lessons that were creeping in so i think simplicity and simplifying your life can definitely help you rediscover your passion and I think that Sarah finds a lot of humor and a lot of fun in watching Madeline rediscover these small details, like her like realizing she might have a thing for Carl is like a huge point of like, this is kind of fun to Sarah. Yeah, Sarah did enjoy watching Madeline squirm for sure. Oh, yes. She got lots of pleasure out of that. Oh, yes. As did I. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I forgot. Is it your turn? Are you are you next or my next? I think you're next. My, my turn. Okay, here we go. Our characters share special moments from their childhoods without giving away any spoilers. Do we each have a favorite scene from the movie? Oh. Do we each have a favorite scene from the movie? I mean, of course I do. I have a lot of favorite memories just from being in the car for obvious reasons. So like our first day was in the car doing what like a plethora of like five scenes just interwoven with each other yeah so any of those are a favorite of mine like there's a point where our friendship kind of takes a turn that i really really do love and i think i'm, I'm really excited to see that how about you yeah. i don't want to give away any spoilers because i think um that that is it would definitely be giving it away but i would say yes any scene in the car because that was supposed to be the least favorite scenes, right? If we were making this movie over six months, we would never want to be in that car again. But there's something about being in that car and filming and experiencing um, the nuances of filming. My favorite moment had nothing to do with a scene, but if we had a crew member <laughs> who who was on, we had to, we're in this car and we're on this big rig, right? A I'm lot alone of time. too. Like and we're basically alone in this car. No one's in there. And so you, you kind of feel weary, you're mic'd up. And so you're acting, but a lot of the communication comes from a walkie talkie. And so with this walkie talkie, which will just like squawk out of nowhere, we had this one crew member who had this really hilarious gravelly voice and was locking up traffic. And all I could hear her say was, lock it up, lock it up. <laughs> so little stuff like that, like whenever that happened, it gave me life. Totally. <laughs> oh okay. my God. Number seven. Oh, six. There it is. Okay. Sarah and Madeline embark on many adventures together and try whitewater rafting. Oh my goodness. Have you ever gone whitewater rafting before filming this movie? 
I have not gone whitewater rafting before. So a lot of Madeline's fears were very real. Um, I think Holly is more adventurous. So I would have just gone out and like done it. I probably wouldn't have been such so prissy about it. But um, Madeline's character was not about whitewater rafting. She's supposed to be, you know, sipping champagne in the back of a coach right now with, you know, getting her nails done at the same time. Um, but no, I have not, I've never done it. I've always wanted to do it. My husband's from Arizona and we went to the Grand Canyon and we went like, we went down into the Grand Canyon, which was a dream of mine. And we didn't get a chance to whitewater raft for whatever reason. I don't remember now, but I've always wanted to do it. And so to be, uh, even though we didn't get to do a, you know, a lot of it, cause we shot it in one, one quick day. Um, the setting of where we were was so beautiful. We saw eagles and possums and not possums, sorry. What was it? Wasn't it a sea otter that- It was a sea otter, yeah. It was not a possum. It was, it was a Canadian possum. It was a sea otter. Yeah, Canadian um, possum. <laughs> and we saw just, we were at one with nature. The weather was flawless for us because that could have been a disaster because it rains a lot in that area. Um, I've never gone. Uh, I loved it. I, now I want to go for real. I do too. I've never done it either. And it made me really jealous because we were shooting. It was so beautiful out. The water that we were working with was beautiful, serene, so calm. Yeah. And the stunt women that were incredible and in doing the whitewater rafting were really whitewater rafting. And so they showed us what they were doing basically the same time and day as us with a different crew. And it looked so much fun. I'm very jealous of Sarah and Madeline. <laughs> yeah, it looked like so much fun. And we uh, we were jealous of them doing all the real stuff. I think that that was the hardest thing to figure out with Sarah is that she is the adventurer outdoor gal. And I do love being outdoors and I do love hiking and I do love doing all of these things, but it is not second nature to me whatsoever. So it's just standing in my uh, wetsuit with my oar being like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. That's <laughs> That's, you're, you're a good actress because I Thanks. bought it. I bought it the whole way. Um, okay, Madeline becomes attached to an old cinema theater that plays a big role in the movie. Do we each like to visit a place that is meaningful to us? Oh, um, of course. I think that there's a bunch of places in my life that are really meaningful to me. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is like my grandparents' house. Um, I wish I had something like more exciting of like, ah, oh, yeah, like the moon. <laughs> How about you, Holly? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, that could go a lot of different ways. Um, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll actually, I'll take that one. I'll do the exciting one then. I love Bali, Indonesia. Like, mm -hmm. to me, that spot, and I haven't been in a while, but I mean, when I'm there, like, my whole aura changes. And so that is a place that I would love to like spend more time at. And since I started having kids and now they're grown, so I don't really have an excuse anymore, but I got to get back there. So that's my, that's my spot. Now I need to add that to my list. Yes. Okay. While Sarah and Madeline are traveling, they listen to a variety of different music on the radio. If you were to create your own music playlist, what are your top three songs that you would have to have? Well, listen, um, I think um, Kaylee got a very good taste of my musical taste because I every morning. Oh, it's the best. Every morning in the, uh, the Bruno tour, Mars. We were, yeah, I love me some Silk Sonic, AKA Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack. I could listen to that evening with Silk Sonic record just on repeat forever as poor Kaylee found out. Oh, no, um, it was the best. It was but the because best. I have young, you know, I have young, I have younger adult children, I really love their music. And so um, I was happy to find that because I was like, okay, I'm being like selfish. I'm playing my music all the time. What do you want to hear? So I love that Kaylee loved Frank Ocean because that's someone who my daughter loves. So I got a chance to play that a little bit. And then anything from Stevie Wonder is on my list, especially anything from songs in the key of life. What about you, Kaylee? I mean, you said it, Frank Ocean. I really do love Frank Ocean. Um, I love SZA. I love anything. I don't know. <laughs> I um, I also, I will say though, with, cause I just did another road trip um, a couple weeks ago. A real one? Yeah, there's something about, and like, this is gonna sound really lame. I'm all about a good Broadway musical. And if you can start it from the, like the very opening and listen to the end, like you're watching your own 
show, basically. Which, which Broadway musical do, do you like? Is your like your favorite favorite? Start to oh, finish. Oh man, there's so many. But like when I'm doing like a road trip, it's like all about like what's the longest one we can find. <laughs> like let's kill as much time as we can. So like you got Wicked, which is just like it never ends. You got Hades Town. Like you can just keep oh, going. My gosh. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I I um that's where I re first found my love for singing, and it was. Oh really? Yeah, but, and we didn't get a chance to talk about that, but it was a musical that turned me out the very first time I saw it, but it's so old. I mean, you weren't even alive, but it's called Pearly, P-U-R-L-I-E. It uh -huh. won a lot of Tonys, and there was a woman named Melba Moore, who's a singer, who won the Tony, I think, that year, too. Um, I was only eight or nine. I'll have and to look into this. Look up Pearly. It's a, yeah. like set in the South and kind of um, set in the old South. It's really, it's, it's a great, but anyway, there was a song called I Got Love on there and that made me go, okay, that's what I want to do. Mm. Still haven't made it to Broadway, but maybe one day. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see. If we had the opportunity to take a road trip, where would we like to go? So where did you go on your road trip? If you don't mind me asking. Oh, it wasn't very exciting. I just oh. drove from where I live in Brooklyn back down to Atlanta, actually. What? Um, yeah, yeah, because I still have family in Atlanta. So I went down there so I could like hang out before coming out to Los Angeles. But yeah, not that exciting of a road trip. Well, I'm actually in Atlanta now and I am discovering Atlanta in a way that I had not in a long time. Mm -hmm. And um, it's so dreamy and whimsical down here and green and rainy. Um, I would love to take a road trip. Uh, we did one in Arizona at California, you know, Arizona um, through the desert. And it was great with the family and our RV. And it was it was tumultuous, but great. Mm -hmm. um, um, but where I really want to take a road trip to is more through the south because oh. I know this. I don't really know this area that much. Like maybe I would like to do like a civil rights road trip where we could go through like Memphis and, you know, Selma and that kind of thing. So that's, that's on my bucket list. Yeah. And I'm sure it's going to be beautiful too, because the South right now is so green. When I, that's what I'm loving the most about being here right now. It's the green. And yeah. then I realize why, because every day there's a little tropical rainstorm. I, yeah, didn't, just realize, <laughs> I didn't realize that. Right. And uh, it's murder on my hair, but amazing for my skin. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. And God, I think, uh, where are we now? Oh, yeah. So um, to wrap up our live chat, we have a little rapid fire game of this or that. It's inspired by Journey Ahead. And we can each pick the option that we like best. Okay. So. Uh, we trade off each question. Yeah, let's trade off each one. You can start with the first. Okay, Holly. Hiking or whitewater rafting? Oh, well, because I don't know how to really whitewater raft, except what my character learned, I'm going with hiking. I love a good hike. Nice. Okay, take a road trip or fly? After the amount of road trips I've had, I'm going to say fly. I'm over. <laughs> I'm saying fly right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, tell a campfire story or go to the movies. Oh, <laughs> um, I just had another hilarious uh, uh, journey ahead, a moment in my head after the campfire. Um, I would say... <laughs> Tell a campfire story that makes sense. No, just kidding. Nice. Uh, I would say go to the movies. Nice, nice. Uh, explore the country or walk through a lively city. Ooh. Ooh, that's hard. Cause like living in New York, like I really do love walking through the city, especially at night. But then I feel like, like I live that life. So maybe some escapism would be good for me. Like taking a walk on the countryside. That's my choice. Final answer. Yeah. It, la city, walking through a lively city is awesome, but there's nothing cooler than to me than that countryside, especially oh, riding a bike. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Fast food or home cooked meal? Oh, definitely home cooked meal. Yeah. <laughs> Down like, here. Pick fast food. Huh? You're going to pick fast food? No, I said, who's going to pick fast food? Yeah. I'm like, what? Like who wants fast food over a home cooked meal? I'm not really... Yeah. Sure. Maybe somebody does. Maybe my kids. Um, <laughs> get pampered at the spa or stay at a luxury apartment overlooking the city. <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean, that's like two different experiences. Like how long am I staying in this nice apartment? What's the city situation? I guess like a luxury spa is always going to be like a vibe. Yeah. So go with that one because it's the safe option, but it would depend on like the city, the circumstance, you know? 
I, I agree. I would say being at the spa, they're kind of conducive to like the Zen vibe, which I love. Right. So, so I would, I would say the spa for sure. Oh man, we shot at that spa and like, we didn't actually like really get to be in the spa, but our like hangout time <laughs> at the spa and we were just sitting there like, this is nice. <laughs> more, more stories. Uh, it was the scene. Yeah. The movie behind the movie was hilarious. Um, yes. We shot at an amazing spa with hot springs and I I got in those hot springs a couple of times. I don't think you ever got in. I never got to no. Yeah. But that was actually really cool. Totally. Well, we are so excited that about this movie coming up. As you can see, uh, Kaylee and I got along great. We just love being around each other. And we are so excited that you are joining us. Yes, please. We can't wait for you guys to watch our new movie, The Journey Ahead. Yep. So tune in Sunday, August 14th, 9, 8 central, only on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. And make sure that you tweet along while you're watching and you use hashtag the journey ahead. Thanks everybody. Thank you.